Hello people, uh, my plan is to create a video segment for you that displays this variation exactly as it is as a mathematical expression in space. Okay. Uh, in order to do that, we have to uh, use the concept of law in, uh, in uh, uh, generative shape design or the knowledge advisor and then uh, uh, use a, uh, a, a trick from uh, generative shape design which had to steal parallel, parallel curves. Uh, we will see that. Okay. Uh, in any event, you have to write a, essentially a simple program uh, to display this thing uh, in the first place. So let's go to, uh, let's create a part file. Control N, P. Okay, there we are. All right, and uh, uh, we can go to the Knowledge Advisor or we can do the stuff from here, the Knowledge Toolbar. You expand this thing, select the law F composed with G, okay? And you can give it any name that you want, so I'll just give it the way it is. And uh, I need to create two, two parameters. One of them is a non-dimensional entity. You can see that, this percentage along the length. And the other one, let's say, length okay so uh, new parameter and I'll call this thing X and another one except that this one I want it to be the length there is length Let's see length uh, I'll call this thing uh, R Okay, the only thing is that I wanted this thing to be length, so let me delete this. And uh, for, uh, yeah, so I'll call this thing R. Oh, no, I'm sorry, uh, new parameter. Uh, okay, so this one, <laughs> this one was supposed to be our X, and this one was supposed to be our R. Right. It's not a very user-friendly way of doing it. Okay. Good. So then I'm going to write my formula. And the formula, if you follow that, uh, uh, the logic behind this curve, and that requires some thinking. If x is, if x is less than or equal to 0 0.157, then we have R equal to, uh, if you look at the mathematical equation of that uh, straight line on, this, on the left side, slanted line, it's going to follow this kind of a logic. 2 uh, times plus X divided by 0 0.157. And since uh, this has to be in the units of uh, length, I'll say inches because that's what my default is, times 1 I N. Okay? Else, else, if x is less than or equal to 0 0.7, what is that, 785, then r is equal to, well, again, you look at that expression, carry that curve uh, carefully, and then do a little bit of thinking, it is the following, 2 plus sine of x times uh, 360, 360 degrees uh, divided 0 0.785 minus 0 0.157. And you close it. You need four parentheses to close this thing and then multiply it by one inch. And finally, else, r is equal to three times one inch. Or you can write three inches. Don't have to write the one inch times one inch. Okay, so assuming there are no syntax error, say uh, okay. It is created here, you can see that. You can make the changes if you feel necessary. 
All right, the next thing I want to do is to go and create a in any plane that you want. It's entirely up to you. And just uh, just uh, so that you don't get the impression that everything has to be done in the XY plane, etc. So I'm going to go to, uh, uh, first of all, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, generative shape design. Generative shape design right there. And, uh, all right, so, uh, let's see, uh, on that uh, vertical, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make a reference plane. You can do, you can do all of these without a reference plane, but I would rather do it like that. So let's see, now here, here's, a, here's a plane, offset from that plane, and I'm going to pull it up. So, in this plane, in this plane, I will sketch. Any line that you want, any line that you want, but I will make it horizontal. How about that? It doesn't have to be horizontal, but uh, any line, so there. Exit. Okay. Now, you go here and look under, uh, right there, parallel, parallel curve. See that? Parallel curve. You click on it. It says, what is your curve? There's a curve. What is your support? The plane that I created. And then, what is the law? You click on the law. You click on advanced. Advanced. Or you can actually go and select the law from here. As soon as you select it from here, that goes to advanced. You can check it. See that? Isn't that exactly what I had there? Just think about it, okay? The only thing is that notice that the length of this thing, the length of the length of this uh, curve was not one, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it happens to be 1.042. As a matter of fact, I say okay, I say okay, there we are. In fact, I can go to that sketch, make this thing even longer, so let me make it, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, instead of, uh, what is this, uh, uh, 10 inches, exit, and there we are, okay, now, uh, what I would like to do next is, if you want this thing to be in one of the sketch planes, because right now, it's, it is actually not in a sketch plane, it is in this plane, it is not in, uh, one of the one of these standard planes. So what you can do is you can say, okay, go to the here's the vertical line which is parallel to this. Sketch on it, okay. Sketch on it, and then you can project. You can project this curve. There we are, and you can project that curve, and there we are, and exit, and. Uh, you got your sketch. The whole idea was to, in a sketch plane, to draw, uh, you know, something that follows a certain rule, and we just did it. In fact, you can hide, for example, this, hide this, and hide that guy, and there's your sketch. You can always go to that sketch. Now, keep in mind that you cannot, del uh, well, you cannot uh, change change things here because this is not a uh, this is not a, this is a projection but let's see if you isolate this okay it is isolated then you can do some other stuff for example let's see now uh, this one you can take and you can you can translate you can manipulate it as you see fit but uh, let me undo that because that was not really the purpose what we wanted to do was to create a curve which followed a mathematical expression, linear variation, a full sine wave, and a constant value. That can be used for different purposes. For example, if you, you, you can take this and you can sweep it uh, or extrude it in, uh, you know, in a direction. Okay. 
Okay, there we are. So the cross-section of this follows that particular rule.